let's talk about Zachary Levi. Um, <laughs> Can we not, please? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I forgot I put this in here. Oh, it's good old nice. Zachary Levi continues to um, uh, continues to prove why you don't want to hinge your franchise on this guy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, <sighs> yeah. It's so it's so funny because he got cast Shazam and everyone was like really high on it. Yep. And then Shazam won, you know, the for some reason people loved it. I, I, I still don't get why to this day. But then since then it's just gone down. Mm-hmm. Like this man's mm-hmm. opened his mouth every time chance he gets, and it just goes down. And Shazam two happened, and it just hit the floor. And then like, now somehow it's digging on. Like it's literally is halfway to China by now. <laughs> Because at this point, it's just him with, like, a lot of salt just saying, oh, I guess Gun only uh, helps out his friends and and no one else that, you know, that that can headline a franchise. I'm like, yeah, yeah, Zachary, yeah, yeah, you can headline a franchise, can't you? (laughs) So I'm shocked that people want to work with people they like. I'm stunned. (laughs) Absolutely stunned. What a brave thing to say. (laughs) Um, like we get it. Zachary is, I mean, he's upset. He hasn't got a job. Yeah. He, he's in a this person. economy. I understand. Uh, and like, but I, I assume that the $3 from Sam can be stretched out over a little bit. And like looking at the pattern of how everything started, I went back and I was like, looking at what he said. I wonder if there was any indications Back in the day, oh, yeah, evac stuff. <laughs> so uh, even before that, I went back and looked at all the way to when he was hired to play Shazam, and there's these little moments and things he says in interviews that I'm like, oh, it was there all along. Like somebody would ask him, be like, oh, you're playing Captain Marvel, right? And you're the real Captain Marvel, and not you know the one over there referencing Brie Larson, and he would just like have this snark look on his face and laugh you know like, yeah that's right and then it comes out all that stuff about how he's against like you know women and he's like yeah their father should be able to let them off the leash when he thinks they found like a suitable mate and i'm like what the hell like it, it all this weird stuff was always kind of there just in the background and like he just never really put it out there till after the lockdown where it just kind of snowballed well- downhill <laughs> Oh, no, at that point, and it was just at that point, he, like he didn't care anymore. Yeah. <laughs> you know, until until it hurt him. He probably figured, "Hey, I see what they're doing with Black Adam. I'm Shazam. I got a franchise that could do what I. Oh, it's burning <laughs> to the ground. It's the Hindenburg, Jesus! Like it just happened so fast, you know? Yeah. It's... <sighs> yeah. I mean, nothing of value is really lost. Let's be honest. Here. No. No, Shazam Two is actively. It, it's the worst film I saw in 2023. It's even worse than the Flash. Yes, the Flash. Yeah. I could at least laugh at the stupidity, but Shazam Two features a scene where a crippled kid with crutches is trying to sneak like Sam Fisher while making a bunch of noise and going "ooh" ooh, ooh while trying not to drop ancient pots. Okay, it is. It is what, oh. that, that can that can top baby in a microwave. <laughs> I was thinking of um, who was the guy that played Superman and hated it? I mean, like he killed himself over it. Oh. The AI would him into the the Flash movie. I can't yeah, oh, my, Nick Cage. Yeah, that wasn't me in the movie. <laughs> I never, I never like consented. The oh, case didn't even know I'm blank- happening. <laughs> yeah, I say it was the black and white one. I can't believe I'm blanking on the name. Bro. Oh my god! Yeah, uh, George Reeves. That's the one. That's the one. Yeah. I, yeah. For How some reason, you- Nick Cage was the only one that came to my mind for like a minute. I don't know. <laughs> like I blanked. Oh, it's because yeah. his face was so close to you in the screen, like you can't help but remember. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Better than earless Adam West Batman. Oh, <laughs> nobody even bothered to fact check <laughs> Batman's cowl. Oh, man. Andy Buschetti is such a perfect director to direct Batman Brave and the Bold that he forgot the ears on Batman in his own film. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Amazing. Well, 
let's not talk any more about the DCEU or whatever the hell Zachary Levi left behind.